always just give it out to my sister. But it's, I've been doing that. But I just feel like when I eat too, too much, it's like it, it gets all stuck in there. So, but I'm eating, but, which is the most important. But I think I just need to kind of control. Go slow. Go slow. Yeah. I think that's exactly, and that, I think that, I, I can't remember who else said that. Just, you know, just take your... Yeah, uh, don't need to push it, I mean, I think. <clears throat> but it was good, but then I'm thinking in my head, oh, I need to eat, I need to eat. And then I get, the other complications come in, like, where I'm like, it's like I feel bloated. I feel like there's so much food in there, and yeah. you know, my body's already fighting so many other things that I don't need it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah. from the sodium point of view, just do the salt tabs and yeah. eat, eat what, you, what you feel comfortable with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So showing a little bit of the machine. That's so, fine. yeah. I'm hopefully, successfully get my pick line in, and that will help me with my chemo. So. The stents might cause a little bit of complication but that's for the best. So alright. So this is it. I've been waiting for this pick line. <laughs> alright, we'll all see right. This is my GPS system okay. to ascent. Um, it just sits on your chest. Okay. I'm just gonna lower you just a little bit more, sure. okay? Two stickers, one on your right side and okay. one on your left shoulder. I mean, no, right shoulder and the left side. Have you lift up your arm straight up. Okay. Just keep it up. You gotta clean your arm. Keep it, oh, sorry. All right. You're good. Am I right? Putting it up. Yeah. Things oh, in the oh, way. Yeah, perfect. As yeah. much as you can. I see you got hooked quite a bit here. A lot. Oh. And a lot of times they miss too. Uh, it, it doesn't help that I have a water restriction, so I think oh, that helps, yeah. right? I mean, that kind of keeps the veins down. Yeah. This is another cleaner. It's okay. a little blue tin. Yeah. So don't be alarmed. Okay. It's not like you're losing circulation yeah. or anything. Thank you for allowing me to. Yeah, probably when we're actually doing it, you won't be able to because you have to be under the blanket. Okay. And, yeah, um, no problem. Uh, just to maintain sterility Got for. It. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting prepped to have my line put in so I can start my chemo and start treatment to get this wretched disease out. How many of these do you put in? Uh, it varies. Yeah. Sometimes it's like two, sometimes it could be like five. Oh, really? Well, it will Yeah. It has to be very sterile. No joke. We don't need infection. This is gonna be the blue drape, so you have to put your phone. Okay, down already. Yeah. Okay, I'll catch you on the flip. Hopefully, when I get back, it's in successfully. So, later. Unfortunately, the pick line didn't go through because of the stents. They couldn't get it through, so now they're gonna do it through an IV. They found a vein, but it just didn't go through. So now they're gonna have another person try to do it so that I can start chemo tonight. Yeah. Just what my journey has been, a lot of delays and challenges, but you know what? <coughs> we're gonna get somewhere. I just going through the motions, so that's where we're at right now. Hey guys, so I just got done doing an MRI of my brain. I guess it's a protocol just to make sure, you know, since my cancer has been spreading, that it's not there, crossing my fingers. And then also, um, I start my chemo. Finally, getting some medicine in my body. I took some a lot of pre-meds already. There's like some uh, pre-chemo like uh, pills that you have to take. So I think that's gonna take 75 minutes before I actually start the process. And I think there's even more things that need to be done. But I got my IV line in and I got all my evening meds. So I'll be up for a little bit to do my chemo. And I think he was saying something like it was, uh, something like 18 minutes for the first one, if I remember correctly, and the other one's like 30 minutes. So I'm excited to get the medicine in there to just to stop the growth already. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm just gonna try to find something nice to watch, which is what I normally do, and uh, relax and let, that, let my body absorb, you know, the medicine or the chemo and let it do its job. So keep praying for me, y'all. And um, gotta be strong, gotta fight this, and that's where we are right now. So this is it, it's starting. My first run at chemo. 
I look at this machine in. Okay, so I stand corrected. The first one, this one's gonna be 15 minutes. And then you take a break in between. It's gonna be 30 minutes in between. What after this one, and then the next one will be about 30 minutes of treatment. So please take, that's all I'm asking, but it's going through my body right now. Hey, good morning, guys, from my UCSF private room, solar room, after recovery from my first chemo treatment, which I think went well because. I didn't have a reaction while the chemo was going through. Um, it was two sessions. The first bag was 15 minutes long, and then there was a break in between for 30 minutes, and then another bag for 30 minutes. Hold on. Hi, how are you? Hi, Jonas. Hold on. Let me go talk to my nurse. All right, where was I? Um, my nurse had to come in and give me all my meds, my daily meds that I take. Now, this morning, I start my first treatment. I'm just waiting for them to pick me up is for my radonc or radiation oncology where they're going to attack this tumor. The one where I was having trouble breathing, but this is what they're going to attack first. So, uh, now, I mean, it's uh, a machine that is going to target this and it's going to get worse before it gets better. It might even grow before it starts to shrink, but that starts today. Uh, so far, I feel okay. They're I had an appetite this morning. I just pray to God that the, the chemo is doing its job and killing these, these cells that are advancing and stuff like that. But I believe that's where I'm at this morning. Looks like a nice day outside. I don't want to make it dark for you guys, but uh, I will keep you posted. And then after, um, I'm supposed to get a pick, a pick line. It like goes in through like a vein here and then goes to your heart. So that's probably for the future chemo or whatever other treatments that's gonna happen for me. They're still waiting for the markers so that they can decide what my actual recipe is for fighting this cancer. So, and I will keep you guys in the loop. Keep on praying for me. And uh, we're in for a fight. So just got done with my first radio oncology to target this big old tumor here. I didn't feel a thing. I was very shocked about it. It just seems like they were taking CT scans or x-rays, but the radiation was going where it's supposed to go. So that was kind of exciting. I was really expecting like laser beam light show and stuff like that, but it was pretty quick and easy. So that's another step. Chemo's in my body. Now I have the radio, the radio oncology do the laser here. So I hope we're on the road to recovery. We are on the road to recovery. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update there. This is a good sandwich. There's more. Mm -hmm. I made a few. I made like four. I had one, so there's four more. So you can have. Yeah, one. just keep your appetite going because you need that. Make you uh, stronger. My throat's dry though. Sometimes. It's probably from the radiation, but. But it's good. But I can eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. I mean, chemo. Get where you need to go. We need it to go where it needs to go, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy it's in. Slow it. You just feel more really that's in you. Mm -hmm. You have less stats. stress today too. I think the stats, you know, your, um, sorry, your uh, vital vitals change because it's mental too. I think because the fact that you know it's in there, mm -hmm. it's relaxing you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're at least combating it, you know? Yeah. Why do you have to put that down? Oh, the sun was in mom's face. Oh. You want it? Uh, we can probably put oh, it back up. Oh, you can take it now. Yeah, yeah it's the sun's gone down. Oh, it's still bright. Yeah, but it's the not. The sun's going there. Uh, Kanina, it was in her face, so now. Do you want another one of those? There's more. Not now, back to back. But they're so small. Plus you, know you have me, spaghetti. I, need, I want my meals to be small. Because yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't want to be bloated. I haven't gone yet today. Oh, maybe you need fruit. Yeah, I will. I have my pineapple there. Yeah. Have the pineapple. So last night was the worst night of my life here so far because, you know, I've been trying to do this um, journey without having to take narcotics because I don't really want to get addicted or anything. In the middle of the night, I started to have extreme pain where my whole body was shaking and I really wanted to do this journey without taking any of the narcotics that they're giving because I thought, it, you know, it would interact with the uh, chemotherapy but it doesn't <clears throat> but I was a fool to think that I could do this without any of the narcotics the pain 
is excruciating. It hurts so bad. I got this um, tumor here in my, like, my bill bill. That's like the love handle. I thought I had gas at first, but then as soon as I woke up, I was shaking like uncontrollable shake because the pain was so bad and it kept shooting. It, there was no stop. Like, you know, sometimes you have a pain, there's a little bit of break in between. This one, there was none. So <clears throat> they had to give me this interview through uh, my IV, uh, a drug that took away the pain. But I was fooled to think that I could get away without it. But um, right now I feel okay. Um, I'm actually going home finally. After being here for, so last Sunday, Sunday, eight days. <clears throat> days. Almost eight days. Almost eight days I've been here in the hospital. Luckily I had this room to end, you know, for the, the last of the experience, but <clears throat> just waiting for my nurse to probably take out my IV and I'll be now um, doing some recovery and fighting That's from like home. Ten so. days. 10 days already? Yeah, almost 10 days. Wow, but just in time for Thanksgiving, so I just wanted to keep you guys posted. I'm going home finally. Part excited, part um, nervous for the, un for the unknown because there's still other things wrong with me. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for supporting me guys and uh, just keep on praying for me and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Finally getting discharged from the hospital. This is what it's like.